a young man in South China has developed a parasitic infection in his brain from eating live frogs during his childhood. Doctors in Changsha, Hunan province removed a tapeworm from the brain of the 26-year-old patient who was admitted to hospital after experiencing a severe headache and difficulty in walking. The man, surnamed Wu, later told doctors that he suffered a fractured bone when he was nine years old and had eaten the uncooked amphibians for several days, believing that the folk remedy would help him heal the injury. Share this article. Share. Dr. He Guo Hua at the Changsha Central Hospital's neurology department told China News that they thought the man was having a stroke when he was first admitted on December 29. The man was suffering from symptoms including muscle weakness, swallowing and speech difficulty, as well as coordination problems, according to the report. However, an MRI scan detected a lesion on his brainstem, prompting doctors to suspect and subsequently confirm that it was a parasitic infection. What is sparganosis? Sparganosis is an infection caused by ingesting the larval form of a parasitic worm found in frogs, snakes and even pigs. The parasites can also be passed on through a form of Chinese medicine that sees patients rub frog or snake meat onto open wounds. However, humans can also consume the parasites, which can spread throughout their body by eating raw or undercooked seafood. Sparganosis is most common in the Asian nations of Thailand, China, Japan, and Korea, according to medical literature. Symptoms depend on whereabouts in the body the worms have migrated to, but they can cause memory loss and itching. Various species of spirometra can cause the infection, including the Spirometra arinaceae. Just 300 cases of the infection caused by that specific parasite have been recorded worldwide since 1953. The patient immediately underwent surgery, where surgeons removed the tapeworm from his brain. The parasite turned out to be a Spargana mansoni, which are often found in the intestines of cats and dogs, but rarely in humans. The patient is expected to make a full recovery, according to the report. Dr. He concluded that the tapeworm had grown from larvae inside the frogs he ate 15 years ago. The man is not the first person to eat live amphibians, an odd habit that has been emerging from central China. Doctors have warned of possible infection that could arise from doing so. According to online versions of the Compendium of Materia Medica, a book written by physician and herbalist Li Shizhen during the Ming Dynasty in the 1500s, the use of tadpoles to cure sores or welts requires the creatures to be mashed into a pulp. In March, a woman from Jiaqing in East China's Zhejiang province who had eaten five live frogs to help her relieve the rheumatism in her legs ended up nurturing a massive tapeworm in one of her breasts. Surgeons eventually removed the 13 cm tapeworm from the patient's body after the woman suffered five years of aches and pains in her stomach, breasts and eyes.